what will be the output of this program. In the main function, an array m is declared as unsigned integer and is initialized to certain values. There are two more variables which are declared as unsigned integer. Then we are printing the value of m of 3. That is, in the array m, the value held in index number 3 will be printed here. Next, we are getting the value of n from the user. Now within the for loop, an if condition is there which performs the bitwise AND operation. Now there is no other condition in the if statement, only the operation is performed. This printf statement will be executed depending upon the result returned by the bitwise operation. Now we have to find the output of this program. Let us see m of 3 that is in this array m the third index holds the value 55 so here 55 will be printed and we have to enter a number let us say 5 now within this loop the bitwise operation will take place between 5 and each of this number and the corresponding result will decide on which of the printf statement will be executed now let us see if our method is correct. Here is the program. If we compile it, we have got zero errors. And when we run the program, the result is 85 for m of 3. How did we get this? Let us check. And now we have to enter the value for n. Let us go 5. Now the result is s no no s no. Now let us check with our answer. In the output screen, we got the value for m of 3 as 85. How is that? This is because all these values are hexadecimal values. Whenever the values are represented in this format that is 0, x, 0, 1. 0, x prefixed to the number indicates a hexadecimal number. Now, m of 3 indicates this number that is 55. So we thought 55 will be printed in the output screen since it is a decimal number. 0 x will be omitted and 55 will be printed. That is what we thought. But it is wrong. 55 must be first converted into a decimal number. So for converting a hexadecimal number into decimal format, the following procedure will be followed. That is now 5 will be multiplied with 16 which is the base of a hexadecimal number to the power of its position. Now 5 is in the 0th position so 0. Here 16 power 0 is 1 so the result will be 5. And 5 into 16 power its position that is 1 here. Now 5 into 16 is 80 so when we add this 85 we are getting the result as 85 so that is why m of 3 is printed as 85 in the output screen which is the decimal equivalent of the number 55 in hexadecimal format now let us check the for loop let us say the value we have entered for n is equal to 5 now for iteration number 1 the value of i is equal to 0 and the condition is that i must be lesser than or equal to 4. Now 0 is lesser than 4 so this loop can be executed. Now within this loop there is an if condition that n bitwise and operation m of 0. Now m of 0 is nothing but 0 x 0 1 that is the hexadecimal value. Now n is equal to 5 in integer format. Now we have to perform the bitwise operation between 5 to the base 10 and 0 x 0 1 which is equivalent to 1 to the base 16. Now let us convert both of these numbers in binary format. Now when 5 is divided by 2 we will get the result as 2 with 1 as reminder. Again if we divide 2 is 1 times 2 with 0 reminder. 
Now for this, the binary equivalent is 101. One. Next, the hexadecimal number 1. For this, if we divide by 2, the result is 0 with reminder 1. So, the binary equivalent of this hexadecimal number is 0, 1. Now, we have to perform the bitwise operation between these two numbers. That is 0, 1, 0, 1 and 0, 0, 0, 1. If we perform the bitwise AND operation, 1 and 1 will produce the result as 1. 0 with 0 is 0. 1 with 0 is 0. So, the result returned will be 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, if we convert this into decimal format, we will get the result as 1. So, whenever in a F loop, if the condition returned is 1, the answer will be true. So, this printf statement will be executed. So, for this iteration, the result printed will be S. Let us move on to the next iteration now. Here the value of i is incremented to 1. Now when check with the condition if it is lesser than or equal to 4, 1 is lesser than 4. Now m of 1 is nothing but 0 x 0 2 from the array. Now we have to perform the bitwise AND operation between n and m of 1 and check the value. This is the if condition. Now the value of n is 5 in decimal format and the value of m of 1 is 2 in hexadecimal format. From the previous iteration we know that the binary equivalent of 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. Now let us convert the hexadecimal number 2 into binary format. We will get 2 ones are 2 with the reminder 0. So its binary equivalent is 1 0. So now if we perform the bitwise AND operation between 0 1 0 1 and 0 0 1 0, we will get the result as 0. During a bitwise AND operation, only if there are two ones the result produced will be one for all other operands the result is zero so the result returned here is zero so if the if condition returns the result as zero it states that it is false so the if condition is false and hence the else part will be executed where no will be printed so for this iteration the result printed will be no now let us move on to the next iteration. Here the value of i is incremented to 2. When checked with the condition, it is lesser than 4. So the loop will be executed. Here the f condition that is n ampersand m of i will be checked. Here m of i that is m of 2 is nothing but 0x90 and n is 5 in decimal format. Now we have to find the binary equivalent of 5 which from the previous iterations we know that 0, 1, 0, 1. For the hexadecimal value 90, if we find the binary equivalent, 2 is 45 times 90, so the remainder is 0. When again divided by 2, 2 is 24 times 44 and the remainder is 1. Now when again divided by 2, 12 is 2 times 24 with the remainder 0. When again divided by 2, 2 is 6 times 12 with reminder 0. When again divided by 2, 2 is 3 times 6 with reminder 0. When again divided by 2, 2 is 1 times 2 with reminder 1. And further divisions are not possible. So the binary equivalent of the hexadecimal values 90 is 1100010. Now we have to perform the bitwise operations between the numbers 1100010 with 101. Now we know that in a bitwise AND operation, if the operands are not 1 and 1, for all other operands we get 0. So the result returned here will be 0. So the condition of F is false and hence this iteration will return the result of the else part that is no.
Now let us move on to the next iteration. Here the value of i is incremented to 3 when checked with the condition 3 is lesser than 4. So the loop can be executed. Here we have to check the if condition that is n bitwise and operation m of i. Now n is 5 to the base 10 and m of i that is m of 3 is 0x55. Now this is in hexadecimal format. Now we have to convert both these numbers in binary format. From the previous iterations we know that the value of 5 in binary is 0101 and when we convert the number 55 in binary format the following procedure must be followed. When divided by 2, 2 is 27 times 54 so a reminder 1 will be there. So again divided by 2 we will get 2 is 18 times 26 so again we will get a reminder 1. When again divided 2 is 9 times 18 with a reminder 0. Again we divide by 2. 2 is 4 times 8 with reminder 1. Here 2 is 2 times 4 with reminder 0. Now 2 is 1 times 2 with reminder 0. The hexadecimal number 55 is equivalent to the binary number 1001011. Now we have to perform the bitwise operation between these two numbers 1001011 with 0000101. Now we know that during a bitwise operation only if both the operands are 1 the result is 1. So for all other operands the result is 0. So the result returned by this bitwise operation is 1. So now the if condition here is true. For this the output returned will be yes since the condition is satisfied and the printf statement will be executed which will print the result as yes. Now let us move on to the next iteration. Here the value of i will be iterated to 4. Now when checked with the condition i will be equal to 4. So the loop will be executed. Here we have to check the condition if n when bitwise operation is performed with m of i the value returned is true or false. Now the value of n is 5 to the base 10 and the value of m of 4 is 72 to the base 16. Now we have to find the binary equivalent of these two numbers. From the previous iterations we know that the binary equivalent of 5 is 0101 and now we have to find the binary equivalent of the number 72 which is in base 16. So we have to divide by 2 continuously. Now 2 is 36 times 72 with reminder 0. Again when we divide by 2 2 is 18 times 36 with reminder 0 and again when divided by 2, 2 is 9 times 18 with reminder 0. Again let us divide by 2, 2 is 4 times 8 with reminder 1 here. Now when divided by 2 we will get 2 is 2 times 4 with reminder 0. Again when divided by 2, 2 is 1 times 2 with reminder 0. Now the binary equivalent of the hexadecimal number 72 is 1001000. Now if we perform the bitwise AND operation between 1001000 and 101. Now we know that for performing a bitwise AND operation both the operands must be 1 to return the result as 1. For all other operands the result will be 0. Here the result returned is 0. So this if condition will be false and hence this if loop will not be executed. The else part will be executed so the result returned to this iteration is no. And now let us move on to the next iteration. Here the value of i is incremented to 5. When checked with the condition that it must be lesser than or equal to 4, 5 is greater than 4. So this condition is not satisfied and the loop will terminate here. So this is the end of the program. Now the result that is displayed to us in the output screen is 85, yes, no, no, yes and no. Let us again check if our answer is correct. 
Now the result is 85 and when the value of n is given as 5, we got the result as yes, no, no, yes, unknown, which is what we also computed. So our answer is correct. Now this is how we have to solve this type of problems. Now when the values are given as 0, x, 0, 1 and so on, these are hexadecimal values. We must keep this in mind.